everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 4 server, my friends. Thank you so much once again for the amount of support you've been showing for this series and, of course, the channel recently. It's been absolutely insane. And, uh, yeah, we're back today, my friends. We are in the White District because we have been tasked with the task of making a map room. Now, as you can see over there, uh, Joe Hill's actually made a temporary map room. And, well, basically what we have to do is, is tear it down because apparently it's only a temporary building in the first place. And we're going to be putting a proper map room in this plot here. Now, obviously, as a result of having a proper map room, people could just go ahead, go have a look, have a look and see where they want to go ahead and explore. And then they can just go and do their thing basically but before we do anything I actually need to do a fair amount of shopping and that kind of brings me on to a topic that I wanted to talk about in that in the last episode episode 16 yes it was pre-recorded quite far in advance and the reason why that was is because I had to pre-record for a holiday that I was going on I, I went on a camping holiday obviously I'm back now and you know the episodes are now back up to date but what you guys have to understand is the fact that if there are pre-recorded episodes then it really is just a case if you're gonna have to grin and bear it because it's it's either that or you don't get Hermitcraft episodes at all. I know that sounds kind of bad, but that really is the fact of the matter. You know, when when I go on holiday, I want to make sure that you guys are still with your content. You know, you still get your content. So if it is pre-recorded and I'm behind on the episode, then you know, you know, I, it's it's. It's not nice coming back and seeing that I'm getting flack for being behind because I know that I might be getting behind because I've been going out a lot, but, you know, it's it's just a case of, you know, I'm doing what I can to make sure you guys still get your content. So, yeah, here we are inside of the Brown District anyway, my friends, and as you can see, there's been a whole bunch of new shops open, a whole bunch, I tell you, a whole bunch, including this iron shop. I'm not going to go through every single shop that's been open, but by God, has there been a load open while I've been away, and, well, there's just so much. It's absolutely ridiculous. And there was one shop in particular which I kind of like the prices of. I believe it was one of the... It was one of the shop for hire ones whereby you could buy like several stacks of cobblestone or several stacks of stone for like one diamond. Uh, six stacks of regular stone for one diamond. Hell yeah, I'm going to be taking a bunch of that. There you go, there's one diamond there. And uh, cobblestone were already good. But I don't quite understand the pricing because I honestly would have expected it to be the other way around. In that the cobblestone would be uh, six stacks for one diamond and the regular stone be uh, four stacks for one diamond. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> that could be a thing, you know, you can get some more money that way perhaps. But uh, yeah, anyway. We've got ourselves a bunch of stone, which is awesome. And now what I want to do is I actually want to go to False's dye shop. I want to try and get some dyes in... Well, in particular, I want to get some green dye, some blue dye, and some purple dye. So hopefully she has those things in stock. False's dye and flower shop. All right, so here's the dyes. Uh, cactus green dye. All right, here we go. So we've got 32 dye for one diamond. Flower payment is 16 flowers for one diamond. Right, okay, so we're looking for purple. Uh, does she have any of the purples? Wait, does she really not have any purple? Hmm, that's not that's not so good. I could probably make some purple though. Does she have any yellow? Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. She's got some yellow. Okay, there you go. I have a diamond false and uh, <laughs> I just realised that's a trap chest. So every time I open it, the trap chest, the trap door opens. That's kind of funny. I like that. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so we got some of that. And I think the other thing I want to do is I'm going to buy some red dye simply because I could go ahead and mix that with some lapis lazuli to make some purple dye. And then I've actually got all of the uh, hardened clay blocks that I need and all the dyes that I need in order to have all of the districts. Because, ladies and gentlemen, what I intend on doing is not only will we have the massive map wall of everything that's around it. Uh, do you mind, sir? I'm trying to cross a bridge. What are you, some sort of freaking troll? Anyway, yeah. We're going to have not only the massive map wall, we're also going to have some mini map walls of each of the districts. Each of the seven official districts. Now, I say official districts because obviously you've got the Daglands, the uh, Dock and Etho Park. That isn't actually an official district that was on the plans. So, uh, we're actually going to be giving that one a miss. But, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, I'll tell you what. We need to go ahead and half see this. So, let's do a bit of that. Hold on. Um, uh, my OCD is going to go crazy. So, I need to get 32. Boom. There we go. Alright, so you go back in there, son. And we get a bit of this. There we go. And that's going to give us 32 of that. And, uh, yeah. That's that's kind of cool. Alright, so you go back in there. We've got the rose red dye. You need to go somewhere. Because I, I, don't, I don't want you on me, son. I want you to go away. 
I don't need it. All right, do you know what? I'm just going to chuck it in like a random chest or something. Uh, do you know what? You're just going to know for time, man. All right, you're going to live with the trees. It's all good. It's all good. Anyway, let's head back down. Let's head back down. We need to go back to the white district. And uh, yeah, we need to get a start on this thing. And obviously, we're going to need to go ahead and be very careful with how we take the maps off the original map wall and transfer them onto the map wall that we have. So, or will have, more to the point. So, yeah, this is going to be quite the task, I must admit. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to make a bit of a style on this thing. I'm going to probably get the wall constructed and maybe some other things as well. And, uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back with a progress update, hopefully very shortly. Oh, yeah, and I almost forgot. I need to make some purchases over here at uh, Iskal's Guardian Block Shop of Awesomeness. Welcome to the Guardian. Prizes are on the item frames. This is awesome, I must admit. You know, just the simple... Just the simple touch of adding a name to a block and chuck it in there. It's just really good. Alright, so, we're looking for a stack of, uh, of sea lanterns, so we're gonna go ahead and buy some of this. It is six diamonds, which is a bit on the steep side, but I guess it's actually a fairly expensive block to make. Uh, but I'd say the most expensive block would actually have to be these, the uh, Dark Prismarine blocks, which, fully enough, he doesn't have any of. So, that's fine. But yeah, we just needed to go ahead and get some sea lanterns, and, uh, and yeah, from here on in, we should be good to go in terms of building. So yeah, let's get on with it! Alright guys, so I'm back here, and as you can see, I've made a decent amount of progress on the inner building. Now, here's my vision, my friends. As you can see around the outside, what I've managed to do is I've managed to put these pillars here. And basically what's going to happen is we're going to have like an outer building, as well as an inner building. And obviously the inner building is going to host the map walls, and then sort of in between the outer and inner, we're going to have like little seating areas and whatnot. So, it's it's almost going to be like a, like a tourist information type dealio. Hello. I'm trying to think. I, I think someone else was tasked with doing that. Wait, hold on a sec. What's this? Uh, info kiosk. Hmm. I mean, you can never have too many seats, right? That that that's basically what it boils down to. Obviously, there's already got to be an info kiosk, so. You know, also some tables and chairs and decorations and general stuff like that, you know, it definitely isn't going to hurt. So as you go inside here, as you can see, we've got this massive wall here. This is going to be for the 10x9 map wall, which we have, obviously, over in there. And then, obviously, we've got all of these little 2x2 two two areas, all signified by the clay on the top and bottom of the leaf wall. So, obviously, you've got the blue district, the purple, the brown. We have the yellow, green, orange, and, of course, this one here, the white district. The white district is going to go right here, because, obviously, that's the one we're in at the moment. So, yeah. Now what we need to do is we need to come up with a design for the sort of inner outer section, I guess, as well as an actual wall for the entire building. So this is certainly going to be an interesting build, I'm not going to lie. It's certainly going to take a long time. It might even be split into a bit of a two-part of this, uh, this here session. So I'm thinking what we do next is we go ahead... Okay, we go ahead. We're going to start transferring the map. We're going to tr start transferring the main map wall into the new building, okay? So this is going to take a fair while, but it's going to be worth it. And I honestly think, actually, that what I should do is have a completely clear inventory. The clearer the inventory, the better it will be, because, you know, then we can transfer many, many maps at the same time. So I'm thinking we just go ahead, keep the pickaxe, uh, and yeah, this will pretty much do it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and make a start on transferring the main map wall into the new building. Alright, guys, so we're just in the process of transferring the final row of maps. So, all I've been doing is I've been doing it row by row, starting from the top, going down, and I've been making sure to keep all of the maps in a specific order in my inventory in order to easily get them back up on the wall. So, as you can see, we've got the bottom wall now, and as you can see, what we're going ahead and doing is doing it one by one as we go along. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is how I've been doing it, and it's been working an absolute treat. And, as you guys can now see, the map wall, the main map wall, apart from these corners here, which need to be filled in, is actually now entirely done. I mean, look at it, man. Look at all the stuff that has been created on the Hermitcraft Season 4 servers so far, man. There's so much stuff. Obviously, you've got the uh, purple district right here. We've got the brown district right here. We've got the orange district up here. The blue district up there. We have ourselves, I believe, the green and yellow districts here. I can never remember which one's the way around, though. I'll be honest with you guys. My memory's not entirely, you know, up to up to par, let's be honest. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, yeah, you can see what the main map wall done here. And it's looking pretty damn badass. So, what we need to do now is we need to try and get a whole bunch of leather from somewhere. And get ourselves all of these other item walls done. So, yeah. 
we just need to go and get some item frames done. And after that, uh, the map, the actual mini map walls, they might take a fair while longer. So this is going to be a pretty long project, let's be honest. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead in the meantime and make myself a bunch more item frames so we can get this thing going. So yeah, I'll be back in just a minute, hopefully. Well, I'm not going to lie, guys, a shortage of leather really does damage one's uh, ability to make progress with this thing. So I think we're going to have to move on to something else, working on something else with this build today. So let me go and grab some materials and we'll get on with whatever we're going to do. Aha! My fellow log fellow Rendog has set up a new shop in the Brown District. Dirt, sand, gravel and bones. And you know what we're going to go and buy from this place? We are going to go ahead and buy some. We're going to buy some dirt. So four stacks for one diamond. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take some of that. There you go. And we're also going to be going out and buying ourselves four stacks of gravel. So we can make ourselves some, uh, some coarse dirt. That is the intention today, my friends. Because uh, we're going to work on the entranceway next. Because... I, I made a bit of a discovery in that I kind of messed up a little bit, but I actually managed to sort of make right the situation, basically. So I've managed to get something wrong, but also make it right again. And while we're over here, I also want to go ahead and grab myself a bunch of green dye, because uh, by the looks of it, what's been happening is a bunch of fake grass has been planted. And I feel like it'll be a good idea if I go ahead and follow suit. But unfortunately, there's no green dye. Uh, payments... Uh, nothing, nothing that I can get that's green. Is there anything down here that I can get? Uh, no, I think that's just additional storage. So, yeah. Somehow we're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves a whole bunch of green stuff. Uh, I believe there is an industrial cactus farm in the industrial, uh, thing. So, we may have to go ahead and make a trip over there and just, uh, see what kind of stuff we can get going. Because, you know, we need to make some progress on this, my friends. I want to make some progress on the entranceway and then we'll call it there for this episode. And next episode, we're going to work a bit more on the building itself. So, yeah. Let me go ahead, head over to the, uh, to the, was it yellow district, I think it is? is it, I think it's yellow, it's either green or yellow, something like that. But yeah, we're gonna go to one of them, we're gonna go to the cactus farm, and see if we can't get ourselves a bunch of cactus. Alrighty guys, so here I am back with another progress update and this one is to say that I've made a bit of a start on the entrance to this building. This is going to be the final thing we work on in this episode. As you can see, I've actually done a bit of AFKing at the Cactus Farm, which I believe Wells Knight build. And uh, as a result, we managed to get ourselves a bunch more green dye. And as a result of all of that, we managed to get ourselves a bunch more green stained clay. So, yeah. All is looking good, my friends. All is looking good, my friends. It really is. So, there's one thing that I actually had to do. And that is, I had to add another block of distance between this pillar and this pillar. And like... Wise on the other side as well, otherwise it will just be, you know, all off. And the reason why I had to do that is because the building or the plot is 20 blocks wide. The map is 10 blocks wide. And as a result, having odd numbers, uh, you know, the odd number in question was the amount of distance between this pillar and this pillar. And as a result of all that, I couldn't really work with that because it just wouldn't make any sense. So I've made this now an even amount of blocks wide. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And what that has allowed me to do is make a bit more of an equal pathway going into the map room and obviously you know in the next episode we're going to start work on the actual building itself and uh, yeah everything is hopefully going to be all hunky dory and beautiful so yeah I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes my friends I really am so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more stuff so that's going to be green 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 okay so let's go all the way up to there there we go so we're basically carrying on the lawn across the thing so there we go so boom and that was going to be regular green okay and again we're going to carry that all the way over there and yeah as you can see what we're basically going for is a bit of a sunken feel and i feel like what might be appropriate here is some trap doors let's go and give that a whirl see how that looks so maybe we do a bit of something something like this there we go oh, do you know what do you know what? I am actually a genius. I kind of like that. That's all right, isn't it? It kind of sort of holds up the lawn, doesn't it? <laughs> I like it. That's kind of awesome. All right. And again, just going ahead and doing that so we could do it on the other side. So do that, do that, and do that. There we go. And what I'm thinking is on the other side here, we've got some custom trees. And I, I, I think that's a really cool idea. So what we're actually going to go and do is make some custom trees of our own. But uh, first... Oh my lord, do I need to organize my inventory or what? Holy poop. Right, okay, so 
Let's go and do a bit of this. We're going to make ourselves a bunch of fences. We're going to use the fences as the stock. And then we are going to go ahead and use the leaves as the leaves, <laughs> as you would expect. So let's try to do a little something, something. So maybe we can have something like this. Uh, have it be a bit taller. And then maybe, do you know, what? I might even go a block taller than that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and give this thing a whirl. So do that. And then we could have leaves like so. And yeah, I don't see a reason why this shouldn't work. You know, just have some custom trees all over the place. Okay, and maybe one on top there. On top, on top. There we go. Oh, we managed to get it. Fantastic. Okay, and then obviously what we're going to go and do is uh, is mirror that on this side. So once again, we're going ahead and uh, using some blocks just to get up. There we go. And that's going to go on top. And then obviously the rest of the leaves are going to go around the edge. So something like this. Yeah, man, this is looking good. Hmm, I'm just thinking, maybe we could put some sea lanterns inside the tree. At the top there, maybe? If I go ahead and uh, mine that out, okay, and put that in there, and then put the leaves in. Oh, do you know what? That looks a heck of a lot better. It just does. There's no other way to say it. It's just made it a lot better. Just adding a bit of light. Little bit of block variation into it, and yeah, as you can see, it's just made things look just that little bit more nice, I guess. So, yeah, that's kind of awesome. Okay, and I'm thinking of putting some more custom trees. Maybe we could have one down here, perhaps? One here, maybe? I don't see a reason why not. So, boom, boom, and then one more on top of that, and then we're going to do the same over this way. Two, three, four, and you know, we're going to need to get on top of that. Oh, wait, no, we don't. We just need the sea lantern, don't we? <laughs> okay, I'm already forgetting what I'm doing. Good lord. I have a great memory, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, let's go ahead and carry on prettying this place up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks. And then we'll end the episode for this session anyway. And yeah, we'll get on with building in the next one. So, yeah, back in a sec. Alrighty guys, so I'm back with the final progress update of today's episode and as you can see I've made a nice amount of progress with the entrance way. Now as you can see I've got a bit crazy with the trap doors But I honestly think they look kind of cool around there I really really do because as you can see what I've done is I've surrounded the sort of bottom trunk of each of the trees with trap doors And I feel like that kind of gives it a nice sort of uh, what's the word I'm looking for a nice enclosed effect in fact hold on a second, I've got another idea what if I go ahead and put dirt in there? So it makes it look like the dirt is holding it all up. Ah, man, I kind of like that. Yeah. I actually am kind of liking that. That's that's kind of cool. But yeah, as you can see, you go in, you got the entrance, you got your map walls and all that kind of jazz. You walk back out and yeah, you got trap doors on all sides. The only thing that's uh, bothering me at the moment is the fact that we've got trap doors here. But if I go ahead and get rid of them, then these ones are going to look like they're floating. Whereas these ones are sort of perfectly in line with it. So I don't know how I'm going to overcome this particular issue, if I'm honest unless I move these trees outwards a bit, or maybe inwards a bit. Hmm. Or maybe we could have like a large 2x2 two two custom tree. Oh, I gotta give it a try, man. I gotta give it a try. We gotta do it, man. Let's do it. Alright guys, final progress update for reals. We managed to get this little issue sorted out by having ourselves a bit of a 2x2 two two sort of janky looking weird tree. I don't know, it kind of looks different. I, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to go for something different and it looks kind of cool with the sea lantern inside of it. So yeah, I've got ourselves a little lawn here along with the 2x2 two two tree and then these little trees to the side of it. So yeah guys, I think that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Obviously, as I keep mentioning, next episode we're going to work on the actual map building itself and uh, yeah, all should hopefully go well. So yeah guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and of course you're excited for more to come, be sure to drop a like rating and of course you can subscribe if to know when the future videos are out but that is going to wrap it up for today's episode thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode